Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import any of the Google Map 3D terrains. Just for example, the mountains, the islands, the Grand Canyons, etc. into Autodesk Maya 2022 to make it become a 3D scenes or 3D props in your Autodesk Maya 2022. Now you can see this is the Google Map, the Google Map 3D. It have a lot of terrains like mountains, etc. How are you going to, to just grab or extract any of the 3D models from here and then import into Autodesk Maya? So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, I'm going to close the Google Map as well. The first step, what you are going to do is just go to my video descriptions to get the Google Map 3D Grabble. Go and download the Google Map 3D Grabble. You will download it as a zip file. Then you have to extract it into your computer, the Google Map 3D Grabble, like this. And the next step, you have to make sure you install the Google Chrome browser in your computer. And these two are the shortcuts that given by me. And later we are going to open the Google Chrome by using the render doc shortcut. Next, you have to make sure you install the render doc 1.13 into your computer. This is the, the installer that given by me. You have to install it into the computer. And once you already install everything, then we may just start now. First, you can just open the render doc. Before you open the render doc, make sure you close and exit all of the Google Chrome browser and also any other browser or close it. Then start the render doc. The first step in render doc is click file, inject into process at right here, type chrome, C-H-R-O-M-E, and stand by like this. Next, double click to open the Google Chrome render doc shortcut that given by me. If you double click to open and open it, it is going to show you in this way. Now, it is a conversation together and then you can see the Google Chrome is totally blank. It is normal like this. At this moment, you have to back to the render dot 1.13, refresh here until you see the Google Chrome GPU. Click on Google Chrome GPU, click in Z. Next step is click OK for these conversations. Then you may start your browser. Once you already see that there are some text and also the black background, white text at, at the top, that means everything is ready. Once ready, then you have to go to the Google Map. The link of the Google Map is the googlemap.com slash maps. Right now, the first step what you are going to do is make sure you point your mouse cursor to the layer and click more. Make sure you take the globe view. This is very important. You must open the globe view, then click the satellite. Then from here, you can just go and search for any terrain. For example, I want the mountain Everest. I can search it here. For example, the Mount Everest. The Everest. It is here. Then, if you hold the shift and drag it by using your mouse left button like this, then you can see the whole terrain. This is the 3D terrains everywhere. You can see this is the world. The mountain Everest is here. Let's say if you want to capture this, then what you are going to do is click here to make sure it back to north and south. Then turn it back to the three, the, turn it back to the 2D like this for this area. Next, you. Before you capture, you have to back to your render dot here. Capture after delay, you set as five seconds. Then click capture after delay. Immediately, you have to back to your browser and keep on use your mouse left click to drag and drag on that for five seconds. Then release your mouse. Capture frame. Once you see the capture frame, that means it already successfully captured. Right, it is here. Next, from your render dot here, just right click to save it as demo. I'm going to save it on my desktop and I will create a new folder. I will name this as Mount Everest 
the file name I'm going to name this as Mount Everest 01. You will save it as a RDC file. And next step, always remember in this tutorial we are going to import into the Autodesk Maya 2022 to make this terrain to become the 3D terrain in your Maya 2022 to make it a 3D model. So before that, next step, you open the Google Map 3D Grabber. You can see there's a, a Blender 3.0 inside here, the Blender 3.0. This is given by me and it already pre-installed a plugin to import the RDC file just now. So this is the RDC file. We need the Blender 3.0 that pre-installed. We already have the maps imported. Just double click to open this blender. Next, click edit preferences. From here, you search maps. You can see the maps model imported. This plugin already pre-installed by me in this blender 3.0. What you need to do is just take it to make sure you, you activate it, then close it. Then, just delete these three items the point light, the cube, and also the camera. Press delete button to delete all, then click file, import. For this time, you should be able to see the Google map capture. You can import the RDC file. And where is the RDC file? It is on, on my desktop now. So I will click the desktop, the Mount Everest, import the RDC file. Then at the beginning, it may show you the not responding sign, but actually, you just need to wait for a few seconds. We're done now, everything done. Just have a look. This is the Mount Everest. You turn on the texture to have a check. Now, everything go well. The Mount Everest is at here. So now, the next step, you can see all of these are, are separated meshes. We are going to combine all of the meshes to become just a single mesh. So in the Blender, just choose and select all then press Ctrl J. Now it automatic really combine all of, all of the multiple meshes to become just one single mesh. Now, then, now you can just export it as FBX with embedded texture. Just follow me step by step here. Click File, Export FBX to embed all of the material texture inside the FBX. You have to make sure that the path mode you choose copy, then highlight here as well. Now I'm going to save inside my Mount Everest folder. The file name, I'm going to name this as Mount Everest 01. To make sure it embedded the texture material here, you have to choose copy and highlight this. Just click export FBX. And wait for a while, now you can see the FBX already exported from the blender now you can look at the whole google map here this is the mount everest then the final step always remember this tutorial i'm going to show you how to import into the autodesk maya 2022 to make it become a 3d synth it is pretty easy now i'm going to open the maya 2022 and now i can close the blender Right now, my Autodesk Maya 2022 already opened. What you, you need to do is just drag in the FBX file. Drag in. Then, it is here already. Next, just turn on the texture and have a look. Yes, now everything already in Autodesk Maya. The mouse ever is also already imported into the Autodesk Maya. And you can perform some of the 3D modeling at here or also any of the 3D animations. This is really cool, right? 
Right, I already successfully showed you how to import the Google Map 3D torrents, any of the torrents from Google Map 3D into Maya 2022 to make it become a game, to make it become a prop or 3D scene in Autodesk Maya. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animation and game developing. See you!